welcome! Today we're going to find where this quadratic equation crosses the x-axis. Okay. In order to find that, you must set it equal to zero, because when it equals zero, that is actually crossing the y-axis at its zero. So, uh, remind me to edit this one. But you set it equal to zero, you go x squared equals negative four. X equals the square root of negative four. Stop. Cross dimensions into reality. Yes. Can't really have a square root of a negative number unless you're really good at math, which I know you really are. So it's actually x times the square root of four times the square root of negative one x, which is plus or minus 2. We have a new word for that. We don't call it the square root of negative 1. We call it i, because it's an imaginary number. And we're done. Thank you. Have a nice day.